You probably know of flying squirrels or flying fish, but have you ever seen a frog gliding through the air? The Wallace's flying frog, also known as parachute frog, wasn't content to just hop and swim. No, it was born to fly, and today we are going to take a closer look at this overachieving amphibian. But before we move on, feel free to comment other animals you would like us to make a video about, and don't forget to subscribe if you like our content. Wallace's flying frogs inhabit the dense tropical jungles of Malaysia and Borneo. People rarely see them since they live almost exclusively in the trees, descending only to mate and lay eggs. Up in the canopies, they are attractive targets for snakes and birds. When threatened or in search of prey, they will leap from a branch and splay their four webbed feet. These increase the frog's total surface area, which allows them to easily glide through the air. So they don't actually fly, but rather glide from tree to tree. A bit disappointing since the name suggests they can fly, but they are capable of traveling up to 50 feet through the air. That's the same as a five-story building. Wallace's flying frogs are not the only frogs who have developed this ability, but they are among the largest. They measure up to four inches, which is the same as a teacup. Compared to non-flying frogs of the same size, flying frogs are significantly lighter in weight. They also have long and slender fingers and toes, which lets them hold onto branches and helps them soften their landing. But why has this particular frog adapted a gliding technique? Hundreds of thousands of years ago, these frogs had webbed feet, perfectly adapted for swimming. However, scientists believe that the webbed feet have morphed into an imperfect parachute, which allows the frogs to glide around the high canopy, not wasting energy. The theory is that after thousands of years of watching birds navigate the rainforest, the flying frogs began to use air travel as the way to go. Who knows, maybe in a thousand years, the flying frog has evolved to flap its toes and fingers to actually fly. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.